Let's see if we're gonna have to get some more people in here. That's all. Four. Hello, Liz J. How you doing? Liz five, okay. Positivity. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I wonder if anybody have the ever had that question of uh why we tolerate uh, uh, narcissists, uh, toxic people in general. Has anybody ever asked that question? Yes, uh, DJ Codeine, um being empathic, empathetic, um, and also not knowing our self-worth. That's why we tolerate the narcissist. I did a video already why narcissists tolerate us, but I'm going to do a live real quick of why we tolerate and that's one of the reasons why. I mean, because we don't know our own self-worth and we never been taught that. And some of us, we came from um, homes to where, and backgrounds to where uh, we wasn't treated correctly. You know, we wasn't a value. We wasn't, um, we didn't have any love. We, we, didn't, we didn't have what we needed to have self-worth and confidence in ourselves. We actually had the opposite. And when you're empathic, when you're an empath, that also uh, makes it uh, worse even when you um, grow up like this. You know, you grow up in a, a toxic household, a toxic atmosphere. You know, this, this is what happens. But, uh, I mean, even if you are an empath, what makes it worse is if you also are in a toxic situation because then you're taught to not value yourself and that you're the, you don't have any self-worth. So when you don't have any self-worth, 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 what happens is that other people notice that on you. You know, they can smell it on you and then they treat you accordingly. Right, and no boundaries as well. And boundaries, boundaries is very important because when you have boundaries that teaches people to not walk over you. And when you don't have boundaries and when you don't have no self-worth, then there's no boundaries. And you don't put people in your place and you feel like people just can say whatever they want, do whatever they want to you. And nothing's never the problem. And we make excuses for people why they should do what they do and why they shouldn't. Well, we make excuses to why people should do what they do. And that's what happens. Oh, it's okay. They, they can do that. And we make excuses for them. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they did that, but it's not a problem when it is a problem. Because some of our parents, some of us parents are guardians, are relative. We grew up in um, environments and households where they treated us like this. So you're kind of used to it. So when you go out in the world and you're dealing with people, they treat you like that and you think it's, it's normal because that's how you get treated. So you believe that is normal yourself. So you don't really see a big deal. It's not a big deal to you. So it's kind of like, then you're confused because you know something's not right. So you end up confused. And then what happens is once you're confused, here comes cognitive dissidence. Cognitive dissidence. Uh, if we grew up with narcissists and our clearance, we normalize toxic behavior from others. Yes, because it's normalized in the household. Right. So you definitely, that's definitely true, DJ Codeine, because you normalize it, because that's what, what happens. So it's normal. And then other toxic people, what happens is they see that too. So once they see that too, then they say, okay, it's my turn. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It's like if we all see a hundred dollars on the floor, it's just hundreds of dollars on the floor. I was not going to pick one up, you know what I mean? If you know, like, nobody dropped it or whatever it may be, or say it's somewhere where it's free money at that you can, anybody can go get. Toxic people, that's what they're going to do. Like, they're going to see that, okay, this is a person that I can walk over and take over, walk all over and use and abuse. So what happens is that's what they do. Oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. So then you just have a whole bunch of people just walking all over you and just mistreating you and using what they can get from you. 
And then the thing about that is that you do have self-worth and you do have high value. So this is why people are actually, this is why people are actually uh, coming to you to get goods from you and using you. You're useful, but you don't know that. So it's kind of uh, a contradiction. Because if it wasn't true, there will be no more to uh, bother you. So right, so if, it's, if that wasn't true, then what's the whole point, right? It's almost like uh, you can't get nothing from somewhere that don't have nothing in it. Like you can't go to a bank account and get money out of an empty bank account. Like, you can't. So if we didn't have self-worth or we had nothing to offer, why would that, why would people even bother us? Why, why would people need to use us? Why, why would people even deal with us? It's because of the fact that we do have, we, we do have a worth, but we let people abuse us. And when you haven't been taught different, then you don't think it's different. You might even see it, but what happens is you kind of ignore it because what you're used to is what you're used to. So even if you see other people being treated different and other people having respect for each other and other people doing good, you still just like, well, I mean, that's not just for me. Um, live and accept others. We don't set boundaries. Nope. And no boundaries, pretty much the boundaries. What's going on, Craig? Take us for granted. Yup, people take you for granted. And that's the whole point I'm saying of when you got high, when you got value and you've been taught that you don't have value, what happens is, what happens is, um, good stuff. Thank you, Chris. Chris Ryan, thank you. Thanks for the uh, super chat. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you, um, Big Brother Kev. How you doing, Miriam Muslim? Yeah, I mean, you 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 don't you don't take it you don't take yourself serious because you was taught not to take yourself serious because nobody uh, treated you serious. So it's kind of it's almost like the um, Cinderella effect. That's 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 what it's almost like. It's almost like the Cinderella effect. How Cinderella had all this high value, and people treated Cinderella like she was. They treated Cinderella like she was nobody. And think about when we was watching Cinderella. When we was watching Cinderella, we were saying to ourselves, like, Cin Cinderella, she's a nice person. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's cool. You know, all the females like, oh, I would love to have Cinderella as a friend. Cinder Cinderella definitely could be my friend or my sister. And the guys, we looking at Cinderella like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Cinderella's so cool, nice and humble. She a good lady. I definitely would like her as my sister or friend or maybe my girlfriend, you know? Think about that <laughs> when you watch Cinderella. Even though how she was being treated, we still found worth in Cinderella. And what we were saying, oh, that's wrong that she's getting treated like that. That they wrong for, um, and look how we looked at the uh, people who were treating Cinderella wrong. We made it cut. Liz, I compared myself to Cinderella growing up. Wow, see? Yep. And, and th there we go. See what I'm saying? That's That's that. Yup. Oh, she was actually about to run. It's about to get tricky on me. It keeps saying it ain't gonna rain, didn't rain. It's like. Hold on one second. I don't know.
I had to get off the ring real quick. <laughs> yeah, being uh, being weird, being weird phone calls lately coming from people I never gave my number to. Yeah, they they crack them and calling and calling you. Then it's it's uh some some somebody stalking you. Yeah, face me. I definitely will. I definitely will. Uh, a lot of uh, positivity, TK. A lot of us that uh, have dealt with uh, been a Cinderella, uh, Cinderella. What happened? But positivity. What you mean? What happened? What you mean by what happened? Like, what, what was the end result or what's the outcome? <laughs> If that's what you mean? Like, what's the outcome? Like, if that happened to us, so what, 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 uh... Are you mean what happened to the live stream? Yes, to that. Well, also too, you gotta you gotta build your confidence back up from that, because once you once once you experience that, then you actually believe it. You'll believe it. You'll you'll say you'll say like, okay, yeah, I don't have self worth. So then you'll actually believe it. But it's not true. But you'll believe it because I mean that's what you've been taught. That's what you believe. You know, you've been taught and programmed to believe that about yourself and think that about yourself. So that's what's gonna happen. So to to get out and set boundaries what ha what has to happen is that you have to believe and become a program to believe that about yourself and then believe the opposite and the best about yourself and once that happens you can change yourself because you'll get the information and you'll build up the confidence and courage and then you understand that you do have self work so then that, that that helps you but that won't happen until you you understand of what what been going on so if and if you're not privy to the information and you never get it and understand it then that will never happen uh let's see any more comments nope any more comments have a, anybody have any questions Have any have anybody ever what what is some of you guys' experience of uh understanding that and real and coming out of it and realizing that? I'm not sure if you answer it. Liz, I had a question, but I'm not sure if you answer it. Well ask. Ask Liz. But all of know. I say I'm not going to answer that. That's just that. No hard feelings. But it's a chance that you know I might answer it. Hi, who's that? Hi, I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> no, but I don't know how to pronounce. Had a question. It's you put Liz. You put answered. I answered it already. My question was, should we take first? Maria, hi Maria. My question is, should we take personally how others take people treat us due to our self-worth? Liz, that's a yes and a no. Uh, should we take personally how other people treat us due to our self-worth? Well, Liz, if... um. Once, once you have self worthless, um, you, you understand that some people are just gonna try to treat you like, uh, so like, say Liz, you know, um, somebody don't want to give you. Once you demand that people uh, respect you, then they don't have no choice but to. So that's one of the reasons why you don't take it this take it personally because 
if if you have self respect, if you have self worth and self respect, and then also if you have boundaries, you have no problem just putting people. It would be easy for you. But it is the level of disrespect that you should take personally. It's a, it depends. It's the level of disrespect you should take personally. I can't wait to get my new phone because this phone Wi-Fi is just, this phone internet is just, R.A. Hi, R.A. You call. Yeah, so not nah, nah, you shouldn't take nothing really personally. Oh. Yeah, I had to dodge that rain. It said only 20% rain, so I wasn't prepared. <laughs> sometimes, you never know what the weather sometimes. I said, yeah, I did not hear what you said. I think it's your line. Yeah, my, but I got a new phone come because this phone, I don't, I don't like it like that because the Wi-Fi is always acting funny and it's never supposed to because it's supposed to be the best or something, but I already got that fixed. So what I was saying, I was, I was saying, Liz, um, no, in some cases you should, because you don't take everything personally, because when you do, you get people to power. And then everything is not for you to take personally. It's like almost, say, Liz, like if you're gorgeous and you know you're gorgeous. If you know you're gorgeous and a guy try to tell you otherwise, you don't take that perfect. You don't take that, you, you don't take that um, personally or offensive. What you'll say is, what you should say or what you will say is, to yourself is oh well i'm not i'm not just not that person type and you could be gorgeous and the person can see you ugly everybody got their own taste so this is like an example of why you shouldn't wouldn't take it personally you know it's disrespect now say if he is all in your face and he says there are the way he goes about it right then it depends on whether you should take it personally and once it once it comes to a line of disrespect then you take it personally because it's disrespect. Any anybody anybody got any questions? Any anybody else got another question? Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, please be safe out there and take the coronavirus very seriously because I just had the COVID-19 and I just beat it. So please take it very serious and be safe because the coronavirus is real and it's very, it's, it's very strong and powerful and it's designed to kill you. I just, I just beat the, the, the COVID-19 virus and I had it, I don't have it no more, but I, I'm gonna tell you it's real and take it serious and please be safe out there. Do not let nobody tell you otherwise. It is real and it is harmful. Yeah, I did hear what you I think I think I understand in a way. People have different opinions. Right, Liz? It, it, it. Will they bug your house or give you a hack phone? Face me? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely will. Definitely. It, yeah, it's definitely. This is <laughs> this is what will make them so dangerous and like uh it, because they will go through this they will go so far and do this. RA, I'm glad you overcame the virus. Yeah, thank you, RA. I'm I'm glad too. It's it's bad. It's 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 bad, RA. That COVID nineteen is very bad. It's 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 worse than the flu. It's kinda like the flu, but it's its own identity. So it's it's bad. And I see why a lot of people are dying from it. And people, you know, and especially older people, because it, is, it attacks your system. It attacks everything, your whole body system. It's designed to just break your whole body down from your head to your feet. Yeah, two and a half weeks, RA, I, I was, I had, I had to be in court self-quarantine and fight the virus. I'm still a little bit like, you know, dealing with a little bit of effects from it, but I, I, I'm way better now. Liz, how, wait, good to know that you are well. Thank you, Liz. 
uh, Cronyless? Love you, son. Oh, thank you. Love you back. You, I hope I'm saying your name right. Cornelius. Wait, face me crazy people. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, face me. That's the one thing you got to understand, face me, is that they will go through any lift to get information about you, stalk you, harass you. That's what they'll do. They, they, they have no boundaries. They have no boundaries. They have no limit. And then some of these people, like, they're psychotic. Because they'll put spyware on your computer. They'll spit, put spyware on your phone. They, they will do that. Uh, positivity TK. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that you had this, but do, but do glad the God, but do glad the God helped you to beat it. Narcissistic survivor, COVID 19 survivor. How did you contract it? Positivity. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, somebody had it and I didn't know. That's the only thing I could I could come up with, cause like I'm very careful, like you know what I'm saying. So, especially since it's been going on, gloves on most of all the time, and always got my mask on. So I don't know, you know, cause some people could have it and they don't have symptoms, you know. So positivity, I meant so glad. Thank you, positivity. All right, I think I might have COVID, COVID back in 2019. This sickness has the sickness I've ever been. The DR gave me a Z pack to get over it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, all right, it's the worst I've ever seen or heard of. Like, this thing is very dangerous, R. A. And if they don't get a hold of this, it's gonna be like the Black Plague. If they don't get a hold of it, it's gonna be like the Black Plague. I I I think so. Uh, one of the plagues that we had a long time ago. If they don't find uh. A vaccine for this or something or something to help this is it's gonna be bad and now 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 that I had it I understand that like I understood it but once you it's nothing like experience so now that I had experience of it it's bad it, it, it take you out like it shuts your whole body down Lashawn the ward uh good afternoon Kevin thank you for helping me get free from abuse love you Kevin oh uh, love you too Lashonda you're welcome or oh, the Spanish flu. Yes, positivity. Yup, the Spanish flu too as well. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. They got to get a hold of this. We need a vaccine as soon as possible or something. LaShonda, thank you. You're welcome, LaShonda. I'm, I'm glad I can, um, I can help you guys out. I mean, that's why I continue to do this because it's helped to you guys. Okay. How you doing? Alright, I feel like we are living in the end times according to the Bible. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, um, R. A. Um, it's definitely it's definitely looking like that. It's definitely looking like that. I mean it could be. It definitely could be. I wouldn't say it's not. I mean I definitely wouldn't say it's not, because if it is and the similar similarity for it. It's, this is just the beginning, so <laughs> it, it, it could be, and if it is, it's just, just the beginning. Liz, yes, Kevin, I always watch that video from you. They are mad because you are great. That is my favorite video, my favorite video from you. Oh, wow, thanks, Liz. Um, appreciate that. Wow, and that lets me know I should do more videos about that. I'm gonna do more videos like that about that, like how I did that video. Um, they mad because you are great. I'll do more videos like that because it seemed a lot of people really liked it, that video. A lot of people thought that video was great, so I'm gonna do more videos like that. These nuts are violent and cannot believe that all my life I have, I have had nothing but narcs. Inflating my life. Inflating my life or inflating? Flattering my life. Been the leader? 
Yeah, right. I think it's uh, ben Benalia. I think that's what your name is. But yeah, once you find that out, right, once you find that out, you don't never know. So it's, it's sad and scary once you find that out. You know, it's like, oh, wow, all this time, this is the people I, I was dealing with. This is the people I had around my life. This is that. Right. It's very scary you say that to yourself. Once you find out, you're like, wow, all of this time. And it's scary and sad because you never knew. And you start to see things and things start to unveil to you about you and who you really are. And who other people really are. And then you, you start to realize the harm and the destruction that they did to you in your life. And your, your mental health and your, you know, your personality. And, and just your well-being. Just please do more videos. All right. Yeah, all right. I'm definitely going to do more videos. Um, the reason why I haven't done more videos like in three weeks is because I was fighting the COVID-19. So I couldn't, you know. But I would definitely do more. And, and I'll do more videos uh, like the uh, one, um, they mad, mad at you because you're great. Uh, positivity. Do you have any symptoms? Did you have any symptoms? Did you know to go to the doctor? How were you feeling? What prompt you to go and see your doctor? Positivity, yeah, I definitely had symptoms. Um, I mean, what happened was like, it was a Friday, I was feeling weird. Like I was feeling really weird, right? So me, I go to the doctor all the time. Like I'll go see my doc, one of my doctors. I'll go do that without a problem. I, I go to the doctors. I know they tired of seeing me because I go for anything. I, I My pinky get hurt. If it's that bad, I'll go see. But what happened is that I was feeling weird on a Friday and I was just like, I feel weird. And I just noticed I felt weird. But what happened was like, I just went about my day like, okay, I feel weird. Maybe I'm coming down with a regular cold. So then by Saturday morning, I was feeling horrible. So by Saturday morning, I went to the doctor, you know, because I'm usually always sick, like not always sick, but I, I've been sick enough and get sick enough to where I know when I'm sick or I'm coming down with something. And I usually will go to the doctor and they know what to prescribe me. It's always the same stuff, like a little cold or something. And you just take it and you get rid of the whatever cold it is. So I just thought that was a normal thing. Like, OK, I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm probably sick. And then that'd be that. And but when I went. But I did notice uh, positivity, TK, and everybody is that it was a weird sick, though. It was a sick that's different, though. It was a sick that was I wasn't used to. It felt weird. It was like 50 percent of symptoms from a normal cold or whatever you or whatever you may have had or always had that's already out there. Then it was 50 percent of something different. And I was like, wow. So that Saturday morning, I went to the doctor and they, you know, took my temperature, my fever and then they took my temperature and fever and they said, well, let us give you a test. So they gave me the COVID-19 test. And um, I took the COVID-19 test, uh, test before already and it came back negative. So I thought it would come back negative. But then when they called me like three, four days later, they said that I had it. I was like, wow. And let me tell you, the symptoms I had was like the same symptoms as a flu, but they're worse. Plus it has its own identity. So you like got the flu, but then you got something else on top of that. So it was like weird. It was it was very weird. I was in bed. My body was hurting. I don't know if y'all had the flu before, but when you got the flu, your body hurts. You know, your body is broke down. Every aspect of your body hurts from your head to your toe. So that was that. So but then it was something different. My head was hurting and everything was hurting in a weird way. And then I just you just. It's in you too. The, the virus is in you and it's just in you just like creepy. It's like picture something like in a cartoon where like some green goo, like toxic green goo just all in your body. Like and you can't see it, but you could feel it. But you could kind of feel and see like how it's just all in your body from head to toe. And you know that it's in your body from head to toe. And you, it just it, it gives you a yuck feeling. Like, you know something is wrong with you that's different because your body feel yucky. Like, you feel yucky. You can feel it in your stomach. You know, like, the movies that you see when, um, like, a predator or something and then stuff coming out of their back and stuff? Hello? Like, yeah, you have stuff coming, like, 
you have stuff like coming out of your back like you see stuff coming out of their back and stuff like that like a little like they transform into something else that's how it feels like you feel something like your back always hurt and it feels like your back is always hurting someone's calling me um, ignore that yeah so that's how it feels your back is always hurting your body is always hurting like my back was always hurting it just felt like something was trying to crawl out of my back all the time so it was like <laughs> it was like oh uh, like you know how your back hurt you always moving your back and you're like oh my back hurt like if you just woke uh like uh worked out or something that's how it feels it feels like uh you just worked out all the time your back always hurting you know and it's just over and over and over and over and over your back hurting all day you got to stay in bed because it breaks your body down and what also what's dangerous about it is that it goes in all of your organs it attacks your organs it it, it attacks everything it attacks your organs it attacks your lungs so your lungs and your chest hurt and then also it's all in your stomach and it's mostly in your stomach because the stomach is the core of you so it attacks everything it attacks your stomach it's in your core everything so it's like it's, it's very bad and then you also feel it in your legs too it's in your legs and you can feel it in your legs and it's breaking your legs down like you can feel your calves like got this heavy weight in it and it feels like somebody just dumped some toxicness in your body and you carry on like a whole bunch of extra weight it feels like but at the same time you're losing weight and your stomach always feel empty so it just it's just weird it's just like all type of symptoms and stuff it, it, it's very bad wait tamara i have six kids by covid narcissist i just found out the fall i just found out the fog is lifted oh is it tamara wow yeah so you did six kids and yeah this is just the beginning this is just the beginning tamara wow uh Belinda, yes, Kevin, precisely. Liz, the video is narcissists are upset because you are great. Just looked it up. Yeah, yes, Liz, that was, um, I liked it, that video. I, I kind of changed um, my approach up. <laughs> and everybody liked it, that. And I, and I meant to do more videos like that, but I never did. But everybody liked it. So that was kind of cool. Um... So I will do more videos like that. Uh, this little light of mine, narcs don't want it to shine. This video too. Yeah, that, yup, that's, yeah. People responded well to that video too. Uh, I will start doing more videos like that. Tomorrow, to be honest, I'm in therapy. I'm still not well dealing with the narcissist. Wow yeah see yeah it's just yeah it's it's the beginning and you got six kids by him so it's just the beginning so if it's just the beginning and uh how uh, how long you you've been with him and been dealing with him because it's, it's still a lot to take in so it's still a lot uh, just in case you might want to know tomorrow uh tomorrow i do one-on-one -on -one phone sessions so you can email me if you want to do one-on-one -on -one phone sessions with me or uh, uh, like one-on-one -on -one, uh video skype chats uh you can email me at kevin sullivan youtube at ymail dot kevin sullivan youtube at ymail dot com no at yahoo dot com and um you can book um a, a, a counseling session with me if you want to um Let's see, Tamara, glad you well. Be blessed. God is good. Yeah, yeah, to Tamara, Tamara. The whole time I was just like, you know, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna put my faith in God to get to beat this to get over this. That's all I'm gonna do. And the luckily things, ladies and gentlemen, is that I, 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 I have a healthy diet. You know what I'm saying? So I hardly barely eat any meats. It's mostly chicken I eat. And, and I eat like a lot of uh, fruits and veggies every day. You know what I'm saying? So I think that kind of helped me as well too. I'm kind of in good healthy shape and I, and I, I could continue that, um, 
the whole time. So I think that helped me out too. That well, that kind of added to it, you know. Uh, Les, I am happy you are mentioning how serious the COVID-19 is because I don't know if I am going to be ordering food during this time until there's a cure. I have to see, I guess. Les, that's, that's not a bad idea if you want to take that precaution. You know what I mean? Because when you're ordering food, you're dealing with people who are like, still exposed to it. So they could be exposed to it and make your food and not know it. And then they could be on your food. And then what's what happens, you know, is on your food. So then, you know, you you end up getting sick. So, yeah, I would say <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Go to the grocery store, order from the grocery store online and be safe. Because that's what I've been doing since I've been on court team for like two and a half, almost three weeks. I've been ordering. I've been ordering from Target. I've just been ordering from Target. It's cheap, too. It was like, I don't know if they go by the distance or not, or it's just one price for delivery. But it's, it's been $10 for me for uh to get delivery at uh, Target, delivered to your house. So I've been doing that. Tomorrow. Uh, to, tomorrow. Uh, everybody cook your own food. Be blessed and safe. And Shonda, thank God you're feeling better, Kevin. We miss, we miss you. Oh yeah, uh, yes. Thank you, Lashonda. Yeah, I'm back now. I beat it, so yeah, I'm back now. <laughs> yeah, but I, I've been wanting to do uh, put out more content and material, but that 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 COVID nineteen it had me. It's powerful. Positivity to get. My brother-in-law had COVID nineteen. He said he knew he was sick. He didn't feel like himself, and he didn't look like himself. He looked sick. He survived it as well. I had to sub-14 for 14 days. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you don't feel yourself or don't look yourself when you got that. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad he's better now. Tomorrow, um, I'm an empath. Tomorrow, yeah. You know what? Tomorrow, I got to do, I got videos about that if, if y'all haven't seen them, but I got videos about um, uh, empaths and um, dealing with narcissists. And, um... A lot of people who are victim of narcissistic abuse are empaths. Like a lot of people, they 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 are, and I, and I noticed that. Yeah. <coughs> yup, I I noticed that. So that's so that's that's something to look look into. Well, I'll do more. I'll do more content about that. I, I'll do more content about that because I did a little looking into it and a little research. So. I had social day for 14 days because I was around my sister. Yeah, that's right. They want you to, um, positivity, yeah. If you sick and you go to the doctors, they want you to self-quarantine uh, and take the test to see if you have it. And, and that's another thing. If you sick, especially if you got a cough or you got a fever, just a precaution, if you go to the doctors and they know that, they'll have you, they'll have you uh, self-quarantine just because you're sick. You know, just to be precautious, whether they give you a test for it or not. Because that happened to me at first. I was just regular sick the first time I took it, and then they said no. Uh, 27 years. Wow. Yeah, so, yup. Yeah, 27 years. You've been home 27 years, and you got six kids. Yeah, that's a lot. That's 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 a lot going on right there, Tamara. I mean, Tamara. Hi, Kevin. Can you do a video on the female magnet narcissist? Yes, Craig. I will get more into right. I'm gonna start doing more content that breaks down the specific identity of different types of the different types like Magdalene. I am. Tamara. Okay, I will. Or a, hey, do you think empath system is so sensitive because God made us this way so we don't ever forget our purpose here is to shine the light and not blend in?
R A. That's 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 that's. I believe that's part of the reason. I believe that's part of the reason. R A. I believe that's part of the reason. R A. All right, I see what you're saying, but I mean, I don't think that has something to do with the sensitive part. All right, in order to not conform, um, you don't have to be sens uh, sensitive for that. This time they mad because you doing what you doing what you have to do to protect yourself and care for yourself and they don't don't do I believe they will try to infect you and put this Slimer Millie, yeah, that is true. That that is true, Slimer. Yeah, that that's it and right and Slimer, that's with any and everything, Slimer, that is true. But that's what any and that's what anything everything the slimer when it comes to them so yep and uh slimer yep two years no contact yep that's awesome liz i don't know if i'm an impact i did go up a scapegoat and was a sensitive person yeah liz that could be true liz it, it's it sound like it. It sound like you was. You could be. You could have. You could be. I am no contact now, but before, I doubted whether I grew up with a not parent. Liz. Yeah, I mean, that's normal to doubt that and question that, Liz. Let's see. And gave me and then gave them a chance, but it was worse than before. Yes, Liz. Yes, Liz. I talked about that before. The more the, the more around and it comes back the second chance, it always gets worse. Up. With them, it always get worse. Up. I, I I I I said that. Putting your times, it gets worse. Up. It never gets better. It always get worse. Up. No matter what, it will always get worse. Up. Craig, be right back. BRB, be right back. Uh, Slimer, yes, Kevin. Super Empaths give the nice back with this. Okay. Slimer, that's true. That That is true. S especially, especially if they know, once they know and get all the information that they need, it definitely too that it, it's kind of hard it's just very kind of hard and, and 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 it's in the it's, it's it's in a subtle it's in a subtle humble way too they just oh let's say oh uh, yeah uh, life is peaceful now forget them yep <laughs> yep <laughs> so yep it, once, once you got that, once you got that, that's that's that. R A. I've seen it in my family. R A. Yeah, the 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 older. Yup. Yeah, it w That's how they operate. R A. I mean, yup. The, the older, it, 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 it's worse. I mean, because you you got to think about it. It's 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 almost like that kind of with a lot of things. I mean whatever if like say like this or if you are say rich or wealthy young right if a person is rich or wealthy while they're young you would assume right they'll get richer and wealthier as they get older and that's that's um normal 
and that makes that's common sense to expect that right um so it's the same thing you know it's the same thing with people you know, and, and some well with them whatever whatever it is and and i'm gonna and i'm gonna do something about this the, the weather whatever they are is what they'll be like if say like if they stingy at 20 they'll be stingy at 40 they'll be stingy at 80. so whatever you see them and whatever they is now is that they will be that with them that's however you meet them they will be that and they only will get worse that's it stingy at 20 stingy at 40. I was no contact again. I was no contact again from September 2019, but before then it was hell. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you mean, Liz. Slime my mom was you know saying on her deathbed she wished death on me so you tell me they get better or worse. No, that's what I'm saying, Slime. They, they, they get worse with age. They they get worse with age because they never change. Whatever, whatever it is, it's just like wine and the best cheese. The best cheese is is the more it's aged, the better, right? The best cheese, the best wine. The older, the older the wine is, the better, right? So that's just that's just that. Like the the, the whatever is whatever. The older the, the 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 whatever it is, it becomes more of that, right? This is why change is important. Of what needs to be changed, you get what. I, so that's why I was saying the saying if, if if stingy at 20, stingy at 40, if stingy at 40, stingy at 80, you know? That's that's and, and I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do content about that. Cuz that I think that's important to know. Let me see um uh his wife his wife now is a over narcissistic and they went downtown and lied on me twice. We in court now and they sending me a mental evaluation because they lied on me twice and had me arrested. Oh, tomorrow, make sure you be very careful because now that they doing that tomorrow, you want to be very careful. You don't want to get mad. You don't want to get angry. You don't want to, you don't even want to use profanity because now that they're trying to get you, uh, trying to get you sent for a, me a mental evaluation, be very careful. You know, whether you're talking to them to a phone, whether you're talking to them in person, in court, out of court, when it's dealing with the kids, when it's dealing with her or him, make sure you be very careful. Make sure you be, uh, it's soft as a dove, humble as a dove, and make sure you watch yourself because that's very serious. And I know you'll you you'll you'll win once they do the evaluation because if 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 you're not, you're not. So the evaluation approved that, but you still want to be uh, uh uh squeaky clean. So you you want to tomorrow you want to make sure you're very well on point. You're very well mannered. Don't get anger over the phone or nothing because they could be videotaping you without you knowing, recording you without you knowing. So you just want to be on extra point and want to be very careful because you don't want to fall for a trap. And you just wait to evaluation and be yourself and beat the evaluation. But be very careful and walk on thin ice so they won't have anything on you to prove otherwise than what's true. Positivity, wow, so, oh, I'm saying. Um, oh, and if, oh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen you in a while, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, NFA, how you doing, NFA? Uh, hey, Ken, someone just mentioned super, super impasse. Yeah, yup, someone did, <laughs> yup. Yeah, someone did. 
And if I don't know if you remember in a way, but I think you've been a while. You've been a while for a while, so I don't know if you remember. But I got um, I got content on that. Not super though, but I do have content. On it. it is really sad because today I was grieving because I think my younger sister, who was a golden child, has become a nun, and I want to help her, but she's refusing. Oh yeah, the golden, the, the the golden, the GC, the golden child. Oh Liz, don't don't waste your time, Liz. Liz, don't waste your time, cause what what you gotta understand, Liz, about the the golden child is that the golden child was raised to be that and taught that they're superior to you, like they're better they're better than you. So you're not gonna get through to 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 the uh, to the golden child. Like the golden child was raised to be to, to be against you and taught to be against you, right? And Liz, the golden child was uh was taught that you was bad, so they've been programmed by the parents and whoever else that you know what I'm saying. You're the issue. You're the problem. So they they've been taught that. If they the golden child. They've been taught that since they were born. So. Don't don't waste your time, Liz. They the golden child is definitely against you. So uh, Liz, and I matter of fact, Liz, I have new content on that too. So go check it out. I, that, you know what? That's funny you said that because I have I have new fresh content on that. Matter of fact, some of my last material was on that. So check that out, Liz, and it, it, and that is gonna break that down and it's gonna explain that to you. I'm glad you you you, you mentioned that. So now I could direct you to that to that uh, information. So when you get a chance, just go, just go check, just go check out my content, and the newest ones you see will show that. All right, the older the nun, the more toxic, and they they get mad years of bad behavior experience under their belt. Wait, the older the nun, the more toxic. They get more years of bad behavior experience under their belt. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, it gets worse. Sir. Like, yeah, w w whatever get worse or whatever you, you you get more hands up. Like, if a person is good with money, um, when they're young, they'll become more uh better with money as they get older because it's time and experience. You know, um, what is it? Uh, practices the reputation of, I forgot that saying. But yeah, that is true. The worse they get, and this is why it, it, this and this is the thing about um, narcs is that um, they start off young being narcs, right? So as they get older, they start learning things like what fell, what works, what doesn't work. They start learning things like how to trick you, what which you will fall for, who will fall for. You know, so if you don't know nothing about this, this is why you're a one supply because you have no idea that that what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what makes a, a, a narc and an and a, and a, and a empath like the perfect duo, but not, but the worst duo at the same time. The worst duo because you are um the because the empath is a rabbit and will a wolf eat a rabbit? Yeah, I think a wolf will eat a rabbit, and and, and the narc is is the wolf. So, <laughs> but say like. But but say like the rabbit don't understand what a wolf is, and 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 a rabbit like oh I'm gonna have fun with the wolf, and they have no eye clue to what the wolf is. You understand how that's gonna turn out, right? But the the rabbit don't have no clue, and you're like oh this poor little rabbit. No no, I hope the wolf don't get the rabbit. Slimer, yes my old yes my own mom. All of my life, I cried. I didn't know what narcissist was. She threatened me. We battled all my life, and she made my life hell. But I'm glad I survived. She didn't like my strong will, and I knew it. Yes, Slima. Yup. Yup. She she definitely didn't like your strong will because strong will intimidates them, intimidates them, and then that means like you have a mind of your own. And they don't like when you have a mind of your own and then like they can't control you so they don't like what they can't control I mean lifeless people and toxic people don't like what they can't control 
And the people who are the opposite of strong will, they don't like that either. They mad and have a problem with that too. Well, just the point of, um, and just the point with that, just the differentiations, differentiations of it. Like you're different. Because you got to understand, the followers don't like leaders. Followers don't like leaders. And one of the reasons followers don't like leaders is because you remind them of what they're not, that they're weak, and they don't like that. Yes, Lyra, good thing you survived it. And look, and you survived it because of your will and because you're strong. All right, yes, be careful. They set you up and tried to get you to react. This ain't demonic spirit in them that wants to trigger us into reacting. So then we get bad consequences. It's spiritual warfare with them. Yes, R.A., that is true. And I mentioned that in some of my videos before, but I got to do content on that. Don't let the narcissist sell you, sell you wolf tickets. And what, um, what an example of what I mean by sell you wolf tickets, like, for one, they'll act like, uh, like say they want to play the role of trying to provoke you because you're temper. So if you got like a bad temper, um, they want to get you roused up, say like you're a person who's a fighter and you get mad and go in rage. What they'll do is, so you wolf ticket is like, um, they're tough, rough and tough, and they're about it, about it, and they want to fight or, and they want to go that way with you, but they're not like that. So what they'll do is get you riled up like that so you can make the first move. And then once you make the front, the first move, then they will, you'll be so shocked and surprised how they'll laugh at you and say, aha, now nah, I got you. Now I'm going to call the police and you're going to jail. <laughs> Don't let, do not let them sell you wolf ticket. Not not anybody. Positivity, they get even more miserable when they get older. They start losing their looks, money, status, and so forth. Yes, positivity, right. That's what happened. They it start decreasing, right? Because they right, they're mess ups. So you can't even count what they have that's great because since they're mess ups, it'll go bad. Like they'll start declining. They'll start declining. Right. It, 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 right. They'll start declining because they're not going to do. They're not going to maintain it. And it's the choices that they make. It's their mindset and it's the choices that they make and the choices that they don't make that's going to decrease that. That's going to help with the decline. They, they're going to lose their looks because they're not going to take care of their looks. They're not going to appreciate it. And they don't, and they're too arrogant and cocky and they don't understand like, well, you have to maintain that. And then with the, 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 the money, they're going to ruin their status. They're going to ruin their status because of their behavior and their manipulation and the things that they do because they're toxic. And then the money is that they're going to spend feverishly. They're going to spend feverishly. And they're going to waste their money. And then they're going to use the money to try to be better than other people, look better than other people, and destroy other people and try to have more power than other people. And it's all going to end up their downfall. And that's what's going to happen. Pick up another thing. Um, Slimer. My ex called the police on me for nothing 20 times before. I discarded him. And six months later, tried to take me to court over his things. He showed up to court and was locked up for another case. Wow. Yeah, he tried to get, see what I'm saying? He tried to get you in court and get caught up in that. And he got caught up in something. And he got caught up. And, and that was karma. And look, and, and, and look at this, Slimer. Trying to get you, uh, trying to get you caught up, got them caught up. And, and look. That person already was involved in something to where they knew they was going to go to court and that was going to happen. So the thing is that since he was all tr in trouble with law, you know what they be thinking? Like, since I'm in trouble with the law and I'm mad, I want you to go down and be at the bottom like me. So let me find a way to bring you down with me and put you in the same situation. And I got to do content about that too. They always want you to be in the same boat as them. So they're always going to lead you. Toxic people, narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, they're always going to lead you down a the wrong world in the rabbit hole because that's where they headed and that's where they've been and they want somebody to come along for the ride 
right and this is not all about and it's not for me to make fun of uh everybody you know whoever's been arrested or locked up or stuff like that or do time like this is not for that like but you get what i mean and what i'm saying That is so true. You're so right about Golden Child thinking they are better. So true. I relate to everything. I will check. I will check it out. Yes, Liz. Watch when you see it, Liz. You're gonna you, watch, Liz. And that's just part one. I did. I got to do a part two. But I just did that. Like that was the last content I did about uh, the Golden Child. It it, it, it it talks about the family dynamics. And and that's what I'm breaking down. But I also got another video too that blames some of my older content too, Liz. That talk about. The golden child and stuff like that. I'm slamming it. You tell him, Karma. Well, I like to say, well, well I like to say, because somebody put me onto the slimer, like, um, Karma is like a word for, uh, like he came from, um, Buddhist. So, what I, what I like to say is, I like to use the biblical word and say, like, they reap what they sow. But it's the same thing, but you can say whatever you want. I just thought I'd put that out there, Slammer. If you're a Buddhist, then say what you say, no problem. Slimer and Kevin, you were right in another video that they are dirty, nasty. They steal and they lie and they are dirty people who think, who I think worship the devil. Cleanliness is a person closer to God. Yes, Slimer, that is true, Slimer. Slimer, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yep, that is true. Even though, of course, we both, we all know, we don't have to point out the obvious. A person could be clean and not golly at all. But for the most part, there's always exceptions. We know that. But just thought I'd do that out there just in case anybody. But yes, you're definitely right about that. Yeah, they, they, they still, and this, they are very nasty. The nasty narcs, I mean, they're nasty to the fullest. Woo. I mean, they just nasty. They live in filth. Uh, Poop Dog Returns. Hey, everybody. Uh, shout out to Poop Dog Returns. She is uh, part of my membership, of one of my memberships. Just quick, I guess, advertise for my channel, ladies and gentlemen. I have membership for my channel. Uh, monthly membership just like any other membership you get for a service so uh, poop dog returns you can tell she is a membership because she has the membership sign on her message well next to her name so shout out to her and any other uh, membership people that's in the chat so that's 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 what's that about yeah that's what that about so She's a uh, member, so shout out to her. And if anybody else want to become a member, you can also go and check out uh, the different memberships and pick which one that you uh, want to become on the um, my channel. Right next to the subscribe button is the join button. And the join button will show you. And all you got to do is just click the join button. And it'll give you like... It'll give you what you can pick before you purchase anything. So don't think if you click the join button, it's automatically going to charge you. Because it's not. It's just going to break down what you can get. Uh, LaShawn, the narcissists get more evil the longer they stay in negative behavior. Right, right. Whatever you dodge in, the more you become worse at it or good at it. I mean, it's negative behavior, but they come more better at negativity. So, yes. The more, yup, the, the more negative they become. Right. It, the, the more negative they become and the more negative they become at, the more better they, good they come at negativity. Negative behavior. Slimer. There is an old saying, if you lie, you will still cheat and kill a, and kill. A narcissist. Yeah, that is the saying. If, if you lie, you'll steal. You'll, you'll cheat. If you cheat, you know, yeah. And and that is definitely true to an extent. That's, yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. 
but as we all know, it's always an exception. It's always an exception, but for the most part, that is definitely true. But it's an exception, though. Um... Chancia? I hope I pronounced that right. What happened to me this week? And now I lost my job. That's what happened to me this week. And now I lost my job. Whoop tick whoop ticket for you for sure. Um thank you for the knowledge. Yes. I didn't use karma at all. Only you reap what you sow. Uh, Shang Sia, explain to explain to us what happened, Shang Sia. Explain to us your story about um, you lost your job because you got so wolf wolf tickets. And you're welcome. Um, my tip, yeah. You reap what you sow was always better. It's a saying from God's word. You reap, you reap good, you sow good. You reap bad, you sow bad. Yes, 100% agree with that positivity. Jamal, the band man. I just tuned in, bro. What's good? What's going on, Jamal? I'm fine. How you doing, Jamal? Sharon, does anyone else feel sick physically when the narcissist is around like they drain you of all your energy yes they're, they're definitely energy vampires sharon you know sharon they 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 are uh empires and i got a couple uh videos in my content my content explains that so i have a, a few videos on that how they any they drain energy um because energy energy is very powerful and energy is very real so whatever any so if a person has positive energy you're gonna feel that if a person got negative energy you're gonna feel that and and that's just enough alone just the energy alone and when you mix that negative energy with um being a, a vampire because also narcissists are energy vampires they suck all your energy out so the energy that surrounds is enough, like a lot of negative energy. Then when you mix negative energy with someone who wants to suck your energy, you're really going to feel drained. Because negative energy on its own takes a toll on you. But then when you have somebody trying to drain it as well, that's a double whammy. That will make you very sick and tired. And I have a, um, I have a content on that, so you guys could check that out. Yeah. Liz, yes, you are right. I think lying can mean you stale to some extent. I think it depends on your attention. Some people lie to protect themselves. Others can lie to hurt others. Right. Right, because you got people who will lie, but they won't stale. It's their preference. Like a person, because, right, everybody different. Everybody has their own psychological, their own, you know, so-and-so. So a person could feel like, you know, it's okay to lie, but I won't stale. And you meet, you see stuff like that. Like you got people who do not think um, stealing is a problem, but they think lying is a problem, and they will not lie, but they'll definitely steal. So it's always exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, that saying is true. And it's also vice versa. Like a person might not, you know, uh, uh, delay. Okay. Shangsia, the lady was provoking me and acting like she wanted to fight me. We go, we get into an argument, and she said I was the aggressor. They ended up fire, firing me. Shan, Shangsia, Shangsia, thank you for, thank you for sharing your story. Everybody, is you hearing? Shane see a, a story because she just gave you guys her story that was just recently just happened 
she gave you an example of what I was just saying of don't let a narcissist or anybody sell you a wolf ticket. This is an example of her explaining that just what happened to her and she lost her job because of it. I'm going to read it again. The lady was provoking me and acting like she wanted to fight me. Remember what I said? They will act and pretend to be on a level that they think they could bring you to or that they think you on or know you on. This is the bait to catch you. We so listen, we go we we get or go into a argument and she said I was the aggressor. They ended up firing me. See, remember and remember the other part I said? Once it happens or once it go down, once you react, they get the reaction they want, they will get you in trouble and point the finger at you. They she sold her a wolf ticket to get rid of her. And she used her to get rid of her. That's why I say we we do not. And you know what? Shansia, you will learn from this and you will come back from this. Shansia, you will learn from this and you will you will come back from this. You know, I don't mean, I don't know if this meant to happen so you can, you know be somewhere else or do something else i don't know that sometimes that happens situation like this happened or it could have just happened because it's what happened because of what happened between y'all but you 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 will you will you you will win from this you'll be fine all right yes like they drain your battery right or, hey, yeah, because, I mean, the battery got, because, uh, yeah, a battery has life, right? And it has energy, it has power. But it also, at a certain extent, gets drained. So, at a certain, you know, at a certain point of time, it has energy, but the energy gets drained. And the energy lasts as long, as much energy it has. So, think about how long a battery lasts. And, it de and a battery depends on what it what is being used for you know what i'm saying our battery power depends on the the the, the life of the, the energy and the life of the battery depends on what is what device is in and what is being used for and how much is being used like take for instance a battery in a remote lasts a long time but if someone always using that remote It'll last a little shorter time, but still a long time. So that's something to take in because everybody's energy is different. Some has more than others, you know, and it also depends on how much access the narcissist has to you, how much they're around. But someone who's around a narcissist 24 7, you really have to protect your energy because they're around you all the time and they're constantly finding a way to drain your energy because they feed off of your energy as well like it's like the energy vampires like a vampire needs blood so we're always eating your blood a narcissist needs energy so it's always using your energy it's how it survives that was a good example ra um face me they are vows and go from dog to dog to suck blood yep that is true I used to feel nauseous and sick in my stomach when around one narc I used to know. RA, energy does not lie. Energy don't lie, RA. Energy don't lie. So, <laughs> energy don't lie, RA. And to everybody else, energy don't lie. And yes, I still feel that way too. When when I, I can tell because the energy, I still feel the same way too. Because as soon as you get in the atmosphere, you can tell. Or if you're already in the atmosphere, then a person come around, you can already tell and already know. Immediately, you feel that energy. It, is that real? Jamal, yes, they definitely start problems when you defeat yourself you get the finger pointed at you when you defend yourself yeah because they don't want you to 
They don't think you're supposed to stand up for yourself. They, they want you to be a doormat so they can walk all over and mistreat you. Uh, LaShonda, I understand artists make you lose everything good in your life, even your job. Yes, LaShonda, whatever you have that's good, they will destroy and take it. That's their mission and purpose. Uh, Shane Sia, I really appreciate you telling me what happened because I was wondering what happened. Big help. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you told me that. And this is, you know, this is why I do what I do. Uh, Infinity Goddess, you helped me get through some tough times, Kevin. I'm glad to hear, uh, hear that, Infinite. Infinite, how, how you been doing with your situation, Infinite? Uh, Michelle, how do they know how to do that? Transfer energy. How do they know how to do that transfer energy? It's just simple energy. It's simple. It's simple. It, it's just that energy is energy. Like, that's just that. It's not really them transferring it. It's just energy is energy. You know? you. Everybody has energy, and you feel that energy. It's the same thing as when you're next to a dog, when we see a dog. Most scared of dogs, some not scared of dogs. Even if you're scared of dogs and not scared of dogs, you still understand a dog energy by whether like, oh, okay, I think it's about to bite you. You think it's about to bite you or if you see like, you can tell and you watch this energy, you see if you kind of okay around it or if you got to worry about it uh, biting you. So it's the same as that. It's, just, it's the same thing. Like, you, they, they don't transfer it, but what happens is it's just there. It's, 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 it's in the atmosphere. You know, so it's it's like the signal they give they give off. And you know what? You're right. I am wrong. It does transfer. Like it does transfer. I'm sorry about that. It does transfer. But first, it's just in the atmosphere. It's 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 which you can see and feel. You feel off of them. And sometimes you can see it too. Then it comes towards you. And then if you don't get out of there, and if you're not stronger, understand what's going on. It would definitely transfer to you. Or if you're just around it, it definitely get on to you. And then here you go. Now you're drunk. So that's that. It's it's easy it's easily transferred just by just just um it's being around just just being around it is enough. It don't lie. Just like if it, it, just like if somebody positive came around, you'll feel that positive energy, you know. And a positive person can make you feel positive if you allow it. But if you're a person who, who's who's against positivity, you won't allow it because you're against it. But it'll still be there, it'll still be around. How do you know narcissism so much? Which part of your learning from books? I am still learning about narcissism. Just Liz, it's half and half. It's, it's books and experience. So, what, what, what I learned to do is to combine the two because, I mean, it's nothing like experience. I mean, for it to be in a book and for it to be a, a study, it has to study the people. It has to study the people who are, you know, the victims of it. And then it has to study the predator. So what they put in a book or what they learned about it is from us being victims and from them being the predators. So if you know, if you know it, if you know Narcissus is right, and then you, you understand it, right? And then you know them and understand it, right? of you being a victim right and then you understand them as them being predators that's information right there but when you add the books and the book language of it you know what i'm saying that the therapy the therapy level of it the languages and the words of it you know that helps you put everything together so that's what i do and i come up with my own stuff you know so it's just from experience and then it's the books of it They take everything from you and how's it going? So they take everything from you. They took everything from you and if you build up what you lost, they come back for the rest. Yup, Sharon, that's true. 
That's, that, that is true. Right, so if that happens, well, when that happens and you, you're going to build everything back up, you want to make sure you do that with them out of the out of the picture. Yeah. Shanksia, yeah, I mean, no, Shanksia, because the membership Shanksia is, is basically, I mean, you get certain perks, but it's not, it's not, it's, it's not like, a, uh, it's not a, like a one-on-one, -on -one, it's not a one-on-one -on -one with me. You can, um, you can email me to do that separate, but the membership is just like supporting what I do and few and perks come with it that's 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 what that is but what you do um shang sia you just uh you click the join button and then it'll give you all the mid all the information you need first all right so true about what the battery is you is used for yep all right yeah, when you said that, all right, you helped me come up with that. So, and and I'm 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 gonna do something on that too, cause that'll be a good one. That'll be a good one. Uh, Shane, see, I think I should have left the room once I saw she was there. I do believe that this happened to me to push me to another level. Yeah, that that could def that could be true, Shane. See. They see it. That could be true. That definitely could be true. And you, you should have left. You, you should have left, right? Because one thing I learned, one thing I learned in life, you have to. One thing I learned is like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta protect yourself from other people, right? So once you already knew what she was on, you should have just left, like, cause you gotta protect yourself from other people. So you gotta protect yourself and your energy. So, and that's a lesson learned, Shane Sia. Because think about, like you said, you realize that now after what happened happened, you realize it'd have been better if I'd have just left the room, and then you wouldn't have been around her for that to even happen to take place. It's just like right people who scare the dogs, right? What happens, right? When they see a dog, they leave. They're like, I'm not giving the dog any chance to bite me because, you know, some some people, even if you're not scared of dogs, if you could tell like a dog is vicious, it's going to bite you regardless, you leave because you don't want to get bit. Whether you, you know, you scared of dogs or not, if you can tell. But then on the same note, Shane Sia, you didn't know that she was gonna behave the way she was that day. So the so what also will help too is for now that you understand that and you know that, and you have the knowledge of what's going on and what she did, now you know how to prepare for it and not fall of it. So now you got everything you need to, to you know to deal with that. Now you now you get to see it before. And now you know how to handle it. And now you know what to expect from people sometimes. Corn Free, how you doing? All right. Yes, and they, yes, and they say you're selfish if you value yourself or health or goals. Yeah, R.A. Yup, R.A. Yeah, they, I mean, they'll say anything. Um, Right, they disingenuous, that's why. They disingenuous, that's why. And then they'll make statements that don't make sense, like they'll say anything. Right, and, and they'll say that because, right, you value yourself, yeah, all right, they'll say that because you value yourself, yeah. I mean, you gotta understand, these, these are, I mean, all right, hey, this is the same people that, the type of person that will have five people You'll have five people ask you for something, R.A., and you'll say yes and give it to them, right? Whatever they ask you for, right? They'll be the sixth person that asks you, and you'll tell them no. 
And you know what they'll say? They'll say you stingy. <laughs> and you know why they'll say you stingy? For the fact alone that you just didn't give something to them. But you gave, they seen you just give five other people something of yours that they asked you for. But if you don't give it to them, within that same breath, they'll call you stingy. I'm doing better and get stronger every day. All right. Infinite, right, if you need me, you got my email. So if you need me, just email me. I'm about to answer some of these questions and wrap this up. Um, let me see. Yup, R.A. That's true, R.A. Yeah, it's different energy. Yeah, so it don't mix. It definitely don't mix. Shane C. Is those spirits around them transferring energy? Yup, yeah. Yes, says Sia. Shane Sia, that is true. Because that's 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 basically what we all are at the end of the day. So if if you want to be typical, that's just definitely was transferring transferring energy. Infinity, Kevin, what's your cash app? Shanksia is um Shanksia, my cash app is um it's in the description box of this video of this right here, of this live right here, and also um it's, it's it's in here it's also a description box of, of the channel so if you look in the description box of this of this live right now she and see i mean inf, um infinite you'll see you'll see my cash app all uh, right and so if, if anybody wants to know um i do have the cash app i do have paypal and i do have um venmo Infinite, let me know um that if you have trouble finding it, but it should be easy because it's um it's also it's also on my home page. You can click the button, and also it's the link in the des description of this live right here. Very true. When you learn from a book, you learn from the experience of someone else. You can add the experience to your own. Yeah, you, that's what I'm saying because. Every for whatever is in a book, and they have classes on when they deal with humans, they learn it from us. So that so without us, they wouldn't be able to put it in the book. That's what I said. I use experience from being a human being because who else knows better than a human being? That's why they got to get the information from us. Then what happens? It gets put in the book. But you want to? I use the books because you also want to be book smart as well. So you can't not. You want to be book smart because. What the books do, it gives it a language. It gives it, it gives it a code. It gives it a code and it gives it a language, and it also breaks it down in a way, in, in an elegant, intelligent way, so you can really understand it. So you want to learn the book, and then you want to go off experience. I use 50/50. I go off books and I go off experience. That way, I can't go wrong, you know. I don't like to give the money. I just think of me giving, getting karma for something I've done in the past. If I were to be the person who thought they had power over my destiny, I'm only human. Born 
more free. I can understand that. See ya. Oh, okay. The membership still sound good. Yes, Saint Sia. Yeah, I mean you could do the membership right, the membership you want. Because it, what happens is the membership is like different tiers. Right now I only have three tiers, different it's three different levels, and it's three different prices monthly. And they all have different perks that you get monthly for, for your monthly uh subscription. So all you gotta do is click the join button. And the join button to tell you the uh, different names of the membership, the different monthly prices, and the different and the different perks that you get from each different membership. So once you click the join button, and to everybody else, you'll find out all the information you need. Plus, I need to add more um, memberships. So um, I would just want to add everything in like different uh, price uh, ranges and add more different perks so you know everybody can have you know whatever they want or however they want to contribute on uh their level but i have three right now you guys can check that out whenever you want um shauna how can you tell when a cobra narcissist is pretending to care for you a cobra narcissist hmm they try too hard. You, Shauna, you know the saying is something too good to be true is true. That's how you spot them. If it's too good to be true and it's too much. It's uh too aggressive, it's like it's like uh kind of like glove bombing. What you, right, because you gotta be careful because you, you know you I'm pretty sure everybody that messed somebody was like, wait a minute, you know, um that's kinda too much. Why are you doing this? That's definitely a question to ask. Some people think that's rude, but it's like, no, you need to ask that question. Because when something becomes too much and too good to be true, it's actually true. I learned this the hardest way. Oh, yeah. Maria, the... Maria... Maria, we all learned the hard way. We all did. All, <laughs> all of us, all of us here did. Infinite, the narcissist will make you feel you are the narcissist and act as such. Right. But that's their whole plan. That's that's them to make you right. That's um, that's projection. They that that's what they do. They project um infinite. They they project um them themselves onto you. That's projection. Whenever a narcissist, sociopath, or psychopath, or any toxic person in general, whatever they say you are or whatever you doing, that's that's basically them. Like I dealt with an, a, a narcissist uh, like this before, and it's with any person. If they if you they accuse you of cheating and you're not cheating, they saying that because that's what they're doing. And this is how narcissists telling themselves. One of the reasons they telling themselves they accuse you of what they're they're wrong doing. And this is another thing how they think if they're doing it, you're doing it, because what happens infinite in everybody they don't separate themselves from other people. They like to picture. The way they behave, the way they think, the way they act is everybody's like that. It's it's you know the saying, whatever helps you sleep at night, that's what that is. Oh infinite, oh infinite, I could have just told you it. Infinite and to everybody else who want to donate through the channel through Cash App. Um my cash app, my, my, my cash app name is Kevin Sullivan Advised. So infinite and anybody else, if you want to donate uh, to, to Cash App, my Cash App is Kevin Sullivan Advice. Dollar sign Kevin Sullivan Advice. Also, if you guys want to donate through PayPal, is a link to donate through PayPal. I also have a link to donate through Venmo. Um, infinite, you have to be ten steps ahead of them. Yeah, you definitely do. But see, once you get the information you uh you can be 
Oh my bad, Poop Returns. You remember I'm supposed to read your I'm supposed to read yours first as soon as I see it. <laughs> you 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 remember. What I like about Kevin is he comes up with creative content that is unlike other channels I have seen. He does not explain definitions off of Wikipedia. He produces his own content. Thank you, um Poop Dog Returns. I appreciate that. And that is true. I, that's what I do. I, I decided, and that's even with me learning the book language of it, the book knowledge of it. I still would like to present my own way of doing it. And like I said, like me personally, I use my experience and what I learned through my experience, other people experiences, and also you, you break down and you want to use the books too because the books breaks it down in a way that's helpful and it also have the words for it. It has everything to help you i help to identify with stuff so i just mix it up it's kind of like mixed martial arts you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying a little bit of everything in there and as you guys can see if you're wondering why uh poop dog returns has that um green signer sticker by her name is because she joined the membership she's a member she joined a member she's part of the membership just in case you was wondering. Shang Sia. Uh, yes, now I will be ready in the future. I won't catch it won't catch me off guard again. And congratulations to you, Shang Sia. Uh, lesson learned, moved on, won't fall for it again. Face me, how many narcs are out there? I think a lot. Face me, it is a lot. Oh, it's a lot. It is a lot. Liz, how do you know if you're the if you develop your sense of self after no contact? Oh, Liz, that's a good one. You well, you start learning stuff about yourself. You start learning stuff about that person. You start having epiphanies. You start learning stuff about yourself. You start learning stuff about them. You start coming up. Things start coming to you like, oh, that's why they did that. Oh, that's why I was acting like that. Oh, that's why I felt for that. Oh, this is why this happened. You start having epiphanies and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding start coming to you. And you start to be more into yourself. You get back to yourself because once you're dealing with these toxic people, you lose yourself. You start getting back into yourself. You start getting it back into who you. Like, for instance, say like you're the type that's creative, like a, a decorator and a painter. That start coming back to you naturally again. You start being yourself, and it's kind of like you start becoming surprised that you have all these gifts and talents, or you start being yourself again. So that ends up happening. So that's how that happens. That's that's how that works. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to end this. My battery is my battery is gone. <laughs> battery is gone. Yo, hold on, everybody. Like, don't don't nobody add any more any more any more comments. Please, um, on the next one, <laughs> because I want to finish the rest of these, because I got to I gotta get off because I'm at 30%. That's it. So I just want to read. I want to answer these that's now before, you know, I have to shut this off because I'm only at 30 cents. <laughs> Yo, so. Um, uh, good life. When they get older, do they pretend they they are losing their minds so you can take care of them? Yeah, it depends. Yup, that can happen. It depends. 50% of the population could be. Uh, Omar, yeah. <laughs> but they will believe this. They will not tell you that. They will not tell you that in the numbers. They won't tell you that. They always will make it lower. They, they won't want to tell us the truth if that was true. But I, I'm starting to believe so true. I'm definitely starting to believe so. Infinite, K, okay? face me. I think that too. Face me, Omar. What's up, bro? My first time catching you live. Awesome, awesome, Omar. And also, it will be a re I will put this up so you can watch it back. And also, it'll have like the messages and stuff on it too. Um, Shauna. They don't care about nobody but themselves. That's true, Shauna. Liz, so true. If it's good to be true, it's a trap. Yes, Liz. What's it going? That is true. If it's good, if it's too good to be true, it is. And that's another reason why you can't be gullible and vulnerable. 
And that's another reason I forgot to mention. If you gullible or vulnerable, we'll fall for that. We won't we won't really think of as it is too good to be true. Well, we'll will in a way and be like, wow, this is amazing. You'll think you'll find the one. I got something right here. Wow. And another reason is why you'll believe that because of how opposite you used for how opposite you used to be you used to be being treated. So from you going to being treated like crap all the way down to zero, right? When somebody come with a hundred and it's too good to be true, you just overwhelmed. You know? You don't know what from what because you never had the real deal. So and I, so don't be gullible and don't be vulnerable. And don't take nothing at face value. Shauna, I think I keep meeting narcs married twice feel like a fool Shauna yes if it's a repeat it's a reason that you keep falling for these types and what happens is you got to find out why you keep falling for the same type because of course they they're going to be attracted to you because of you being you and them being them but you got to find out why are you being attracted to them over and over that's what you're going to have to find out and deal with why are you attracted to them and falling for them as well and once you figure that out, you don't have to worry about that no more. Jonah, how do you recognize a narc who has been abused by a stronger narc and now they portray themselves as a victim, but they are also, but they also abuse. If they abuse, if they telling you, oh, this person is like this, they did this, blah, 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 and they, and they treating you like crap, then that's, that tells you right there. Right. Because one thing about me, me doing this, if I ever meet or dealt with one of y'all, if you ever seen me and, and you guys see me treat people how we'll be talking about now, you'll say, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> For a person who's the advocate of this and is against this and stuff like that, I sure wouldn't expect you to act like it, right? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you find out. You know what I'm saying? By the fruit of their tree. You, you, you'll know them by the fruit of their tree. What type Because I've been through it before too, but you guys, you guys think of, think of what you guys see so far, what you always seen that I act like that. Fred? Nah. <laughs> nah. You know Fred, you know Fred? Nah. <laughs> All right. Gotta look like him. <laughs> All right, bro. Ida Tiger, hey Kev. How you doing, Ida Tiger? All right, I'm so glad you did a live chat. Hope you can do more of these. I will. I'll definitely be doing more. Um, I met a narc. Michelle, I met a narc couple. The lady is the narc, and and the husband and family members know she be lying, and they don't do nothing about it. That's why enablers, enablers just as dangerous as a uh, person. They don't sit in. And, it, and they just act like it's nothing. That's not we got to change in this world, too. Uh, all right, wish one day we could do all an in person community meetup in future at the COVID isn't a concern. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. That'd definitely be cool, RA. Infinite. Are you also under Kevin Sullivan? Because that's all that came up. I don't know, Infinite. It shouldn't be just that. It should say, it should be uh, Kevin Sullivan advised. Because that's what I got it as, Kevin Sullivan advised. You know what you... It, yeah, I got it as Kevin Sullivan advised. So, I don't know, because... Uh, Kevin Sullivan could more people have that name, so I don't want no mix up. So, um, if it's not saying Kevin Sullivan advice, would you do um, Infinite or anybody else? And this link to this video is the Cash App link and other links for to donate to the channel. So, you'll see it, Infinite. If you go to this video and um, look at the donation link, 
you'll see the cash app link so just click the link also to infinite and everybody else if you go to my home page at the right top hand corner you'll see donation links and you'll see the cash app the cash app um link the button to just click so just use the links and it direct you to the right place That's what I typed in this. That's why I asked. Right. So, right, just click the link. Because if you click the link, the link will go exactly to, to exactly my accounts. So, the links are always the safest. Or, hey, they'll talk about you even in, some, in the same room. The minute you turn your back, they look for people to slander you. To slander, slander you too. Yeah, R.A., y'all. They will. It amazes me. It amazes me, R.A., how they just do it. Like, and it's like, but the, the, the thing is that they really expect you not to hear. And I'd be like, how sad. You really expected me to not hear. It's like, wow. Wow. It's like, really? Like, you wouldn't think I'll hear that. You couldn't hold it that. You couldn't hold it that bad that you had to say and i'm here like wow you had to get it out but that's why i gotta do another video narcissists gotta get their rocks off and that is true ra infinite some narcissists are in these communities acting like us yep that is true infinite very true i did some live videos about that too like early on when i first started Um, Booker Low, imagine being married to one. Oh man, Booker Low, man, I, I couldn't imagine. Look, be just being dealing with, just dealing with some, is enough. Like or, or being around, marrying. Uh, I the tiger. I'm, I'm doing good, my fellow Leo Kevin. Hope. All is well with you. Yeah, I'm good. I had a tie in on me. Oh, shit. let me stop playing. Now, the weather tricked me. It wasn't supposed to rain. It just tricked me. I'm going to see if it just stopped. It probably just real quick and then stop. If the rain drizzled just a little bit and stopped, I don't mind that. But if it's going to rain for an hour, I got to I gotta go for cover. Kevin is a Leo, 812. Infinite, yeah, I'm a Leo. Where you get 812 from, though? Yeah, I went to the link. uh booker low leos are very messy i'm not messy hey i'm not messy i'm not messy on um, booker low i'm not messy man <laughs> that was just her that wasn't me leo not me that wasn't me booker low that was her over that ain't me yeah i went to the link infinite did the link work everything good uh infinite um les i don't know if i should still comment even though i want to if uh here liz if you want to comment on here comment on here liz if you don't want to comment on here liz email me kevin sullivan youtube at yahoo.com uh, infinite okay because i type in the name i'll press the link yeah infinite press the link because the link is the link from my account so the links are always best because the links are created from my account so you can't go wrong with the links yeah if and then anybody else when you press the link when you click the links that i have you don't have to type in anything because it's the link you'll see it go straight to my account shauna i'm not sure if i'm married to one but he shows little to no emotions when i'm hurting that's a problem shauna that's a problem that's a problem leos are loving and it depends on a person's mood signs what's their sign yeah, infinite too, but that also doesn't matter too. I did a video on that. Don't be fooled by zodiac signs. So everybody, so everybody, please check out my video so nobody gets confused. You, uh, the zodiac signs is true, but it's not all true. It is true to some extent, but it's not a hundred percent true, and you don't want to fall for that. You don't want to fall for that. So no. But I have a video on that. I think it's called Don't Be Misled by the Zodiac Sign. Anyone can be a narcissist. So, 
check that out guys i had a tiger kevin is july 27th me t9 um yeah everybody yup yup yeah so yeah matter of fact my birthday coming up soon um Booker T, my ex-wife's birthday was 821. Yeah, but see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, Bart. She's a Leo, but be fooled by that. Leos are clean like cats usually. Yeah, I'm a very clean person. As you probably can see. Or as always, you can see. As always, you can see. Uh, or in my videos, that's true, see? But then I guarantee it's something out there that's not. So that's what I'm saying. It depends. You see how she got that right? Well, she seen me on video all the time, but you still what I mean. But then there's some people who's not, so you never know. And I need to run for cover because it's raining hard right now. Libra, Brook Law, Libra. Uh, that's my B day eight twelve. Okay, Infinite Leo two, huh? Infinite, I knew you were a Libra. My not right now is a Libra. Okay, Infinity. Wow. All right, everybody, I gotta end this. So. Love you guys, everybody. Uh, check out the membership. If you want to join the membership, just hit the join button and check it out. If anybody want to donate, you can donate PayPal, uh, Cash App, and Venmo. Just click the links in my home page at the buttons at the top of the home screen. Also, the links in the description box. This video will be on replay. So if anybody want to rewatch this video, I will be uploaded soon. Uh, see you guys on my next live, and I will be loading more content. Thank you, guys for your donations thank you for the live chat donations and thank you guys for watching the channel thank you guys for supporting me thank you guys for watching and watching my live chat everybody have a blessed one and um everybody have a great day and stay narcissistic free